Hello and welcome to my meditation. My name is Deborah Baker and I'm so grateful that you've joined us for this little while. <sighs> we can continue our series on um, using Ho'oponopono to heal those, our deepest, deepest wounds. So let's get started. As usual, we begin with our three nice, really deep breaths. The first one just filling up your lungs Holding it for a moment and then And now think about filling up your lungs front and back Really expand your lungs Hold it for a moment and then release it really slowly And now take the deepest breath you've taken all day Fill up your front and back of your lungs and your belly. Just fill it all up. Fill it, fill it, fill it. Hold it for a moment and then release it nice and slowly. <sighs> Let go. Get yourself comfortable. Make sure that you are in a comfortable position that uh, your whole body is supported so that you can truly, truly relax. I hope you're wearing comfortable clothes and the room is the perfect temperature or if you are outside that it is the perfect temperature. It's actually like a hundred degrees here. I love the heat. I'm, I'm delighting in it. And I figured there wouldn't be anybody else out here and there isn't except for all the cicadas and all the air conditioners running in the background. So we're going to do a, a quick exercise to relax our body so we can get right into the, <clears throat> the, the healing work that we are doing together. So bring all of your, um, bring your feet and ankles and knees and legs to the midline, press them together. Squeeze all your feet and leg muscles toward the middle. Hold for a breath cycle. and let it out <clears throat> and now we're we are going to do the midsection so clench your fists and draw your fists up to your elbows draw your arms to your sides pull your front to the to the middle and pull your back to the middle so pull everything toward your spine for one breath cycle so take a deep breath pull it all in squeeze 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 <sighs> and let it go and now my favorite part is you know <clears throat> draw your chin tuck your chin draw your elbow or your <laughs> your shoulders up to your ears squint your face pull all of your face facial muscles to your skull squeeze 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 your neck muscles with your shoulders <sighs> and let it go and just notice how good that increased blood flow feels through your body. <clears throat> so this week we are working on using Ho'oponopono to heal any wounds that occurred while we were in high school or high school age. <sighs> and I think it's an age where we don't get out unscathed somehow or another. You know, life happens. So I don't know if any of you have seen the movie Inside Out, but in it, the, the, the emotions of the main character are depicted as little people. And when the main character has a memory, it gets stored in a little ball and is colored according to the main emotion attached to it and it gets filed away. So what we're going to do is, we are going to imagine <clears throat> four bulls sitting in front of us. And so we focus on the first one, which is our first year of high school, freshman year, ninth grade. And we're going to bravely take a few breaths and just allow whatever memories, whatever wounds happen, whether it was a, a friend or a family member, a stranger, 
whatever happened to us, and I think mostly we're talking about emotional wounds, spiritual wounds, mental wounds. Maybe you have some physical wounds as well. So just see whatever wounds you have that are ready to be healed kind of in your freshman year bowl. And just bless them. Well, I'm going to be quiet for a moment. I invite you to just look at them and just observe them. And we're just going to let them sit there for a moment and look at our bowl now for our sophomore year. And there may be some of those little memory balls that plop into the bowl that you don't even, you can't even define. But that doesn't matter. Just know that your subconscious is ready to heal those things. And so as the, the bowl is filling up, join me in taking three more nice deep breaths. And now let's observe the bowl for our junior year, 11th grade of high school. <clears throat> Whatever wounds might be tucked away there because we weren't able to or didn't, couldn't for whatever reason allow them to be healed at the time. <clears throat> and again, the three nice deep breaths. And now your senior year, your 12th grade year. And if you didn't go to school in the United, in the United States, whatever you know, years you feel correspond to that. But it's kind of the final year before university or before college. There's a lot of things that happen in that year. It's a huge transition year. So again, just take the three deep breaths and allow those memories to just drop in there. So now we have these four bowls. And we are going to work the four statements of Ho'oponopono. And what I have discovered in my own work with it is that it's most helpful to imagine yourself healing, healing, hearing, healing and hearing the messages as though the universe or the person who should have made the amends or and couldn't or you know the person you would have liked to have had the amends from is now saying them so first we'll look at the freshman year bowl and just imagine yourself whatever wound comes up for you as as a freshman and hearing someone say or hearing a voice feeling the energy of i'm sorry I'm sorry. And 
and now shift to your sophomore year. Maybe it's helpful to just choose one memory, one event, one wound, and hear the voice, hear the message, I'm sorry. And take it into your heart, take it into the wound, I'm sorry. I now shift to your junior year. Choose a memory or allow a memory to choose itself and feel yourself hearing that message. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> and now your senior year. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my neighbor with a loud engine. <laughs> I'm sorry. And just feel your heart, your sweet, sweet, innocent heart, taking in that apology, taking in that I'm sorry. Take another nice deep breath and just ground down into it. And now shift back to your freshman year and feel the second message, which is, please forgive me. That sweet freshman you, that free, sweet ninth grade you, you know, mostly still innocent, taking in, please forgive me. Please forgive me. And maybe sensing yourself accepting that. Please forgive me. In your sophomore year, you, whatever wounds happened that year, please forgive me. Accepting that healing into that sweet sophomore you. Please forgive me. And now the junior 11th grade you. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. And feeling yourself accepting that. And now your senior year, your 12th grade you, ready to embark into a new adventure beyond secondary school. Please forgive me. And now take a deep breath as you release that. And now the third statement, I love you. And so feel that freshman you, that ninth grade you, sweet innocent you, hearing I love you. I love you. And I think a lot of times when we're that age, we don't hear that enough. I love you. In the sophomore year, you, those wounds, those sad times, those alone times, hearing, I love you. I love you. In your junior year, your 11th grade, you, Hearing, I love you. And maybe there was someone who should have loved you who couldn't or wouldn't. Hear it now. I love you. I love you. And your brave seeing yourself, your 12th grader, hearing, I love you. 
love you. Take a deep breath and ground that in. I love you. And now, as though you, adult you, or maybe your higher self is saying to your brave ninth grade self, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being brave, for, for tolerating, for hanging in there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Imagine the hugs, the love, and now shift to sophomore year you, whatever the pain came from that year, to hear thank you. Thank you for being brave. Thank you for being emotional. Thank you for being you. Thank you for hanging in there. In the junior year, you, 11th grader, thank you. Thank you for keeping on, keeping on. Thank you. Thank you. And now senior year, sweet senior you, maybe even at graduation, hearing thank you. Thank you for hanging in there. And if you dropped out or if you didn't finish any of those years or any of that schooling, you were still those ages and you still were wounded at those ages and you still deserve the I love you's and the thank you's and the I'm sorry's and the please forgive me's doesn't matter how well you did in school or if you even stayed in school. It's about your sweet, precious soul, your sweet, precious heart. Keeping on, keeping on. And so imagine like representatives of all of those wounds are gathered in front of you and you just send them love. And you think again, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you, thank you. Let us all release the wounds together and heal so that we can come back in stronger, knowing our true worth, which is we are infinitely worthy knowing our value, which is priceless, knowing that we are one with the infinite, whole and perfect. And so we just know that the healing will continue over this next week, over these next several weeks, really, once you embark on, some, on healing something at such a deep level, it, it goes forth. It continues, it takes root in those healthy, loving roots, nudge out the pain. They take the place of the sorrow and the pain and the wounds and the injury and the hurt. And they replace it with love and serenity and peace and healing, healing, healing precious healing. So I may have gotten a little warmer since I got out here. I, my face looks red. I congratulate you for being brave enough to try this process and for not beating yourself up and for not feeling like you owe anyone an apology. This is about accepting the apology of the universe accepting the apology of the infinite, knowing that you never deserved to be wounded or hurt or you never were unworthy of all the good things. Your life just happened and we can heal that so that we can move forward. And when we're finished with the Honopono Pono process, 
we're going to do some visualizations about what wonderful lives lie ahead. <sighs> so let me remind you again, you are whole and perfect exactly as you are in the one present presence moving in through and as me honors and recognizes the one presence moving in through and as you namaste have a wonderful week